So Sora was just recently announced just a few weeks ago, and it's incredibly powerful. But there's a problem. Even with a $20 a month subscription to Sora and OpenAI, the most you can get out of it is a 720p resolution and 5 second video. If we're talking about video production, it's just not very good. And after all, we want to use Sora for our work. It's not just a toy. Like we want to be able to use it towards practical purposes. We don't spend $20 a month on a toy. We spend $20 a month on a tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take the results that you get from Sora and make them into something that you can use so that you can enhance them to usable quality of a higher caliber. Let's get into it. And there are chapters in this video if you want to be able to jump around. So what I'm going to demonstrate for you guys is how to take video that you take from Sora and upscale it so that it lasts longer than five seconds and is a much higher resolution than just 720p. And to do that, we're going to need another piece of software, but it's still cheaper than paying for the upgraded plan for OpenAI. But before we get into that, I want to show you the footage that we're going to be working with. So this is a piece that I generated from Sora. Uh, it's an aerial shot of a lighthouse on a rocky bluff overlooking the ocean. Its beacon is dimly lit and the weather outside is gloomy. Waves crash against the rocks below. This is what it gave me. It's 720p and it's five seconds long. I mean, it's not a bad looking clip. Honestly, it looks really good. The, the texture of the clouds is really dramatic. Uh, the shape and the texture of the rocks uh, stays consistent as the drone uh, circles around the island. It's pretty cool, but it's not usable for our projects. So to make this clip usable, we're going to use a piece of software called Topaz AI or specifically Topaz Video AI. You've probably seen ads for Topaz, and this isn't sponsored. This video has nothing to do with any sponsorship. There's not a company that's paying me to talk about anything. This is just a piece of software that I like using uh, that I want to tell you guys about just because I think it's cool. And it's cheaper than subscribing to the more expensive plan for OpenAI where they're charging you $200 a month. And right now, if you go to the Topaz website, you can get video AI for just $209. So for the cost of OpenAI max plan for one month, you can get this software uh, that allows you to use the lower subscription at the same quality for a much longer time. And I'm going to show you guys how it works. So I'm in Topaz Labs, okay? I got my timeline here. You can see this is the clip that we're working with it recognizes that the output resolution uh, natively of the clip is 720 i want to get this clip to 4k right so what i'm going to do is instead of jumping straight from 720 to 4k i'm going to render a 1080p version and then with that 1080p version then render a 4k version and i also want to progressively go up to 120 fps in doing that so that i can slow this clip down get some nice slow motion out of it and it just looks really cool once i get it in the editor right so here we are inside of topaz i'm going to set my output resolution to 1920 by 1080 and I want to go from 30 FPS all the way up to 60 here I'm not going to jump straight to 120 I'm just going to do 1080p 60 that's all I'm going to do right here so before I export I'm going to jump over to my codec settings set this to h265 just because it's a little better I'm back to adjustments export as I'm just going to export it to my downloads real quick so we can easily see the difference I'm going to call this one 1080p 60 in my export queue you can see this is going and this is done right so now we're at 1080p in 60 FPS already you can see the additional frames here uh, this honestly looks really good but we're gonna do more now I've taken my 1080p 60 FPS clip into Topaz you can see I have it playing here now I'm gonna set this to 3840 by 2160 4k and set my frame rate to 120 now again I want to remind you we started off with a 720p 30 FPS clip straight from Sora right that's all it gives us now I'm gonna press export call this one 4k 120 save and my export is getting started we'll check it out as soon as it's done okay so our render finished this is the final result here this is 4k 120 fps honestly really doesn't look bad like this is definitely usable now you can see here there are some funny things going on at the top of the lighthouse. Like you can see the uh, the railing around the top looks a little funny, but we rendered this in 120 FPS. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slow it down and you're not going to notice these things. So in DaVinci Resolve or whatever video editor that you're using, I just prefer DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I have all three of my clips here, right? Now I'm going to drag them onto my timeline. This one here is just the regular 720, nothing special. From here, we jump to the 1080p. Doesn't look too shabby. This is 60 FPS. Now we're in 4K, 120 frames. 
This looks pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna dress this clip up and show you guys how we can use it. First thing I'm doing is zooming in enough to get rid of the OpenAI logo down in the bottom corner, that watermark. Now we have just our lighthouse. Now I'm coming into the color page and I wanna add like a light, just a not super crazy color grade on here. Okay, so I put a color grade on this clip and I kinda gave it a look. Uh, I've made some little visual adjustments, but watch how this plays, please. Like if this was just a quick three, four second establishing shot, you'd have no idea. You'd have no idea that this was AI, that this was fake, that this place doesn't even exist. I'm working and color grading footage of a place that doesn't exist. And, and that's nuts to me. You know, that that's incredible. And it looks good. Like you wouldn't know that this was AI. You know, if this was just a quick establishing shot used somewhere in your documentary, somewhere in your narrative short film, in your feature film, whatever. Like, and I'm positive, I am so positive that as we progress and as we move forward, we're going to start seeing more and more shots like this in our Netflix documentaries and the movies we go to see in the movie theater, anywhere you go. I mean, they're already flooding social media. Why wouldn't they appear in the big name brand things? But yeah, with a color grade, with some added frames in here, an upped resolution, this does not look bad. This looks really good. I mean, and you can see here again, 120 frames, 4K resolution. Like this is, this is it, you know, it looks great. It plays great. It's all about prompting with Sora. So this ridiculous $200 a month for 1080p resolution, 20 second duration uh, is just absolutely ridiculous. It's, that's, that's a rip. When you can go get Topaz Labs or the Topaz Video AI for just $200 or $209 for a one-time payment and get quality like this, like why, why not? You know, if you can do more with less tools, you are more valuable and figuring out how to do stuff like this, I think is really cool. So definitely go give this a shot. I'm really curious to see if anybody else is using this little trick. If anybody else thought of this, uh, if you have Topaz Labs and you have uh, access to Sora with OpenAI, give it a try and let me know how it goes. Freedom for all, democratize video production. This is a really cool thing. I hope people get a lot of good use out of it. So if you learned something from this video, please leave a like for the algorithm. The channel's growing like crazy and I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me if you're gonna use this on any project or if you already have used it on any project. Uh, and hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.